from a really young age, since I was three, like people will come like in Christmas parties and they will ask you, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I will be like an artist. I'm like, oh, you want to sing? Oh, dance? No, I want to paint. I'm Natalia Diaz. I went to UCF. I graduated on May this year with a BFA on painting and a minor in business. As an artist, I paint and um, I also do um, chalk festivals, which is um, kind of like, like some people call it painting, some people call it drawing. It depends on how you see it. I want to communicate through my art um, the idea of first impressions and like how like the way people perceive people like every every person that I paint like I have some kind of like connection to a friend a family member so I want people to know these people in some sort of way without knowing them with what I'm painting and like the symbols that I'm using on the background or like the clothes or the colors or like the position of the head like things like that so I want people to see people in my perspective which I think my perspective will be like the general perspective, which is kind of hard to say because people can perceive different people differently. I really enjoy painting here when I was at school, but right now, like I'm, you know, I'm at home, and that's kind of hard to go from something that it was so like we had an amazing studio. Like I have my own studio space at school, and now like I had gonna have to like work with having the dogs around, and that's kind of distracting. So like I have lost a little bit of focus, but I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> That's like the biggest obstacle because you say like people, oh, I paint and they don't take you sometimes seriously or they don't understand what that necessarily means. Or they ask you like, so what, what, are, you, what are you doing after graduation? You know, like it's kind of hard to answer that as an artist because it's really not really structured. It's hard because I come from like really... Um, classic Spanish parents that they want you to be a doctor or a lawyer or have some kind of, um, you know, science degree. So it's really challenging. It's just like, it's the number one thing that I can do without getting paid and have that satisfaction that I'm, you know, like, I, this is what I'm, that I want to do, you know, because I feel like I could have done anything if I wanted to. My parent, specifically my dad, he wanted me to pick something like it was more, like, um, career-oriented, something that would bring money, like architecture. He thought it was close to art, but it wasn't, like, as pure as actually, like, painting or, like, sculpting, and I just was really stubborn with it, and I just went for it, and just kind of like stuck. My dad always said, um, I don't care what you do with whatever career choice you make, as long as you're the best at it. You know, I don't care if you're gonna generate, like, like, be the best at it. So that's kind of like what pushes me to like not give up this kind of dream that I have of like becoming an art, a successful artist. And success can be defined in different ways. Like my success, is it fine as being constant being on the studio and being like fully full time doing it you know like having like at least two paintings per week that will be like success to me